far right Supreme Court majority that is hostile to democracy itself. But here we are. And the fact is, if we want to save our democracy, we must act before it is too late by restoring balance to the Supreme Court. Our democracy faces its greatest test since Jim Crow. From the insurrection at the Capitol to the racist voter suppression being attempted all throughout the United States of America, the far right is at war with our democracy. And what I want people to understand is that this crisis did not arrive overnight. Rather, the Supreme Court has been an accomplice. In fact, the Supreme Court, specifically the Roberts Court, has been working to dismantle our democracy for years. One decision at a time, the right-wing majority on the Supreme Court has unraveled the greatest achievements of the civil rights movement. To produce a government that does not look like, understand, or even pretend to represent the American people. Every time we needed the Roberts Court to stand up for government by the people, the court chose government by the powerful. In its Citizens United decision in the year 2010, it opened the floodgates to a torrent of dark corporate money in our elections. Years later, three years later, in fact, in Shelby County v. Holder, the Roberts Court gutted the crown jewel of the Voting Rights Act, which set the stage for what we are now seeing with SB 202 in Georgia and other racist attempts to suppress the right of Americans to vote in this country. Of course, more recently in 2019, a decision called Rucho v. Common Cause, the Supreme Court, specifically the Roberts Court, gave a green light to partisan gerrymandering, further entrenching minority rule. Shamefully, the Roberts Court has never struck down a single voter suppression law as unconstitutional. Not a single one. My goodness. Decisions like these have created a path for the far right to remain in power, despite being roundly and repeatedly rejected by the American people.